We are going to Marfa, Texas. From? From Santa Fe, New Mexico. This is uh, Carla's preparation for pretty much two days. I'm not sure if you can really... This is a blanket. This is another bag here. This is like... You could probably fit a small child in this bag here. So... Don't forget our umbrella. And yeah, she has an umbrella as well. Different footwear options. And then... This is me. I'm about to take an outdoor shower here at El Cosmico in Marfa, Texas. Wish me luck. It's really cold. <sighs> it feels really good. Okay, where we be going? We just finished our shower, so now we're gonna go back to our safari tent. Let's go. We are in Marfa, Texas. Uh, more specifically, we are in um, safari tent at El Cosmico. So uh, I always wanted to stay here. I think this place is uh, very unique. Um, you have the safari tent, you have the TP, you have your choice of uh, airstreams, and I think you can just camp here if you want. It's, it's just a really, really unique place here at El Cosmico. And, uh, so we just went and took a shower, the outdoor shower. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Um, probably running on like four hours of sleep. Drove 10 hours from Santa Fe here last night. So um, I'm tired, but I'm in really good spirits. And uh, I just need some coffee and I'll be good to go. I know just what you were thinking that day. I really want to show you guys Marfa. If you haven't been here or if you haven't heard of it, it's just very, very unique. I think Austin's a very cool, unique city, but Marfa is just, it's just a special kind of weird. A really cool kind of weird that I want to show you. I want to show you as much as I can of Marfa. So I really hope you guys enjoy this and um, let's see what we can get into today. I think the teepees are, are really like really done well. Um, I love the use of the space, and uh, you know, of course, it's it's minimalistic. I feel like there's a lot in common with the Ace in uh, Palm Springs. Like I said, uh, just like minimalism and, and a lot of functionality, and uh, just a very unique experience just as a whole. And uh, teepee is beautiful. Um, I'm sure at night you can see the sky through the top there, and uh, yeah, just a really really cool concept this whole entire place. This is the best grilled cheese ever. James, what's for breakfast? <sighs> so we're here at uh, Hotel St. George, and they have this bookstore gift shop, and I saw this uh, Signs of Marfa book that I really liked. It's more of like a visual 
uh, books. You know, there were some captions underneath the photography, but um, I really liked it. I mean, you know, if you can go through here and see, you know, it's, it gives you, it shows all the mid-century, turn-of-the-century architecture here in Marfa, and a little bit of a backstory behind some of it. And, I love that. So there's a couple places in here that I haven't seen, and some of them that I have, and they have a story behind them. So that was really cool. Uh, this is my favorite book. It's Hippie Modernism, and I thought it was really cool. The reason I liked it is you kind of scroll through the book. It just has some cool like 1960s, 1970s ads, posters. I just thought it was really cool, just weird. Um, as a designer, it just kind of really inspires me. You always go through different phases of things you like, and it inspires you to just kind of create some new things. So I really like this book a lot. I thought it was really cool. And real quick, I saw this uh, constellation quilt. And uh, you can see here, but. I thought this was really, really cool and unique, and it's limited edition. I think there's 200, 200 made. This is 66 to 200, but uh, yeah, really nice quality, attention to detail, and uh, this is why I love places like this. I just love what they did with this place. I mean, it looks like something that's in like Williamsburg, Brooklyn, but we're in Texas. So it's a cool contrast. Um, just the decor, you know, as a whole is beautiful. So this is Prada Marfa. Uh, this is the Prada Marfa art installation. This is actually in Valentine, Texas, um, about 30 miles west of Marfa itself. And uh, this was completed in 2005. It was uh, took about $80,000 to complete and was a actual collaboration with Prada. So they supplied the handbags and the shoes. Um, I love this place. I've, I've seen it on Tumblr years ago. And I was wondering where it was. Finally found it and you know, learned about Marfa, learned about Donald Judd, um, him moving from New York City to Marfa to complete his large art installations. And I think this is a nod to him, you know, just you know, creating these large pieces of art out in the desert and uh, not having any limitations with you know, what you want to create. I've been here a couple times and every time it puts a huge smile on my face just seeing you know, just something so extreme and beautiful at the same time. If I could pick any pair, I would probably pick the gold and black pair over there. I just love them, they're beautiful. They look like they're like a black suede with a gold detail. I'd actually wear them tonight if I had them, but those are my favorite pairs. I love all the heels here. Uh, we're in Prada Marfa. Uh, this place is just beautiful. This is the second time I've been here. I love it, I can't wait to come back again. We really hope you enjoyed our adventure in West Texas and learned why Marfa is so special to us. Hit the subscribe button to see more of our adventures and as always, thank you so much for watching. This is the Prada Marfa Birdie. She keeps all of Prada's shoes safe and clean and lives in the purses during the day.